Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Clash of Clans mailbag series. Again, you guys can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube comment section, drop your best question, and I will pick some to be featured into a video, but I actually want to switch it up this time and ask you guys a question. I was sort of thinking about this yesterday, and I sort of wanted to hear from you guys, obviously, and your responses, so I'm going to put a poll in the description below, and the question is, what is your favorite type of Clash of Clans series that I've been doing? Besides the class challenges, obviously everyone loves the class challenges. So I can't include those in the poll, but I just want to drop that into a poll for you guys and I go ahead and check that out in the description I'll also comment with the link make a vote and I'm sort of interested to see what the results will be so check that out All right So as far as the questions go today question number one is from Roman He asked who do you think is winning the Super Bowl? I don't know about you guys, if you guys are a Patriots or a Seahawks fan, it's probably a pretty good idea that you close your ears, but the Patriots and the Seahawks are probably my two least favorite teams in the NFL, so I'm really dreading this Super Bowl matchup. I wanted either the Packers or the Colts to win, uh, so we could have at least one team that I wouldn't feel bad about rooting for, but... I really, really, really don't like the Patriots. I really don't like the Seahawks. If I had to pick one to win, I guess I would pick the Seahawks. Um, but yeah, that's my Super Bowl pick. And uh, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I'll be tweeting a bunch during the game, as well as something pretty special is going to be coming up soon. Um, and yeah, so go ahead and check me out on Twitter. I will put that in the description below. But uh, let me know who you guys think are, who you guys think is going to win the Super Bowl in the comment section. All right, next question from Rosendo on Facebook. He asked, why do they give gems to the top players in the world when they already have maxed out bases? This is a great question. And I think this is one of the broken parts of the game right now, or something that's really old, outdated, and archaic that that they need to fix. As you guys know, the top clans, I think like the top three clans get a certain amount of gems spit, split between their players. And uh, overall, it's sort of just a silly thing that not a lot of them really need to utilize. I think it's somewhere, when you split it up, I think it goes to like the top 10 clan members um, in a particular clan, and it's really not even a crazy amount of gems. So I think it's something that Supercell could look into. Overall, I think like the whole high level sing like the high level trophy system as far as ranking players and clans goes is sort of a little bit difficult and confusing right now whereas you don't have a clear-cut winner something like a, a clan tournament or something like that anyways i agree i think it's sort of weird that they give hi high level players uh who already have maxed out bases gems for being in top clans. I feel like it would be cooler if they gave them spe special like decorations or something like that that actually means something to them, uh, seeing as most of those players have already spent thousands of dollars on gems on their base. All right, so question number three from Comics on Twitter. He asked, will Clash ever release another form of loot? For example, Light Elixir. Good question. You know, something that sort of I didn't like about Boom Beach when I started playing it is that there were so many different type of resources and I didn't understand as I upgraded my headquarters how each resource played its way into the game. So I feel like Clash is at a pretty good point right now with Golden Elixir to where they don't need any more resources inside of the game. And if they did add a new type of resource, it would affect – I don't know exactly how they would implement it. Like would they implement it at Town Hall 6 or Town Hall 8 and then have to redo all the upgrades and add in this certain type of new loot like Light Elixir into all the current upgrades in the game? Or maybe they would release it when Town Hall 11 came out and made it a resource only for Town Hall 11. I think right now as far as the game goes, three resources are pretty good. You have your Gold and you have your Elixir, which are the standard ones, and then Dark Elixir, which is sort of a premium currency and it's a little bit harder to come by. Um, I feel like if they added another type of – loot to the game i don't feel like it would really add any sort of depth and uh, it might just sort of screw with something good they have going on right now so i don't think they would add it if they did they'd have to find something cool and, and a cool way to do it but i i just don't see it right now and uh yeah all right next question from aaron on facebook he asked what happened to the 24 hours zero to 3200 trophy live stream you were talking about doing earlier last year is this something you might still consider doing this is definitely something i want to do i was actually thinking about it but the thing is right now until i finish my quest of 4,000 trophies i can't use my main account to go to zero all the way back to up to 3200 like i could do it on something like my chief at two account I could use Barbarian and Archer and try to make my way to 3200, um, but I really would rather do it on my main account, so expect that to come out sometime after I finally hit 4,000 trophies. And again, I'm going to try to push myself a lot harder on the 4,000 trophy series and get there sooner than later, um, but yeah. Expect that soon. Expect that after that 4,000 series wrapped up, and you can definitely drop a comment uh, when that time comes. Jerome asked, how much longer till the next update, and what are your expectations on expectations on the next update all right so for the next update i'm gonna guess it's gonna come sometime within like maybe the next i don't know two weeks three weeks something like that uh, i guess some maybe sooner than later so i'd guess sometime within the next two weeks expectation wise i don't know really where to look 
Um, I do know some certain things about the update. I don't know everything, but uh, yeah. I feel like it'll be a pretty solid update. Again, Clash always releases good updates. I don't really want to speculate too much on it because I know a little bit about it. I don't know everything about it. And uh, yeah, I hope it's a good one. Again, it is the first one of 2015, so I'm hoping that it's something really cool. So uh, we'll see what happens, and I'll give you guys an update on that as soon as I learn more about it. All right, so final question from Alan. He asks, should they add a surrender button so that if the other clan is beating you guys badly, you can just start another war? And at first, I thought this was a pretty good idea, and I still think it is a pretty solid idea and something that if they made it work right, I'd like to see it added to the game. But you always have to worry about people abusing stuff like this, and let me tell you why. So as you guys know, you can sort of choose who you want to get to war with. Um, not exactly choose them, you know, like out of, out of like a hat or out of a list, but let's say... Um, you want to match up with your feeder clan, you can match the amount of members and you can sort of have your bases line up. Like for us, we have our main clan, the Clastronauts, and then our, our feeder clan, which is the Clastronauts. And uh, we've gone to war with those guys, I think like four times, and pretty much we just coordinate a time where we click the button at the same time, as well as have the same amount of members, and it usually works out every single time. And the thing about that, if they added in a surrender button, certain clans probably would find a way to be like abusive with it and um, match up with clans that are close, like sort of make a system to where they can get matched up with a clan that they know and have that clan surrender automatically. So that clan got a um, a free clan war win. And then, of course, they would try to like make some sort of record of wins. And overall, they'd have like a really faulty score. Because right now, you can only war every two days maximum. One day for preparation day, one day for the battle day. And if you were able to surrender like one hour into the battle day, you'd have 25 hours um, of time played and you'd get a victory for that. So people would have some crazy clan war wins. And again, clan war wins don't mean anything right now, but if they ever wanted to expand on clan war wins and give you like achievements and stuff like that, um, then that would definitely be something that could be abused by people sort of cherry picking their matchups and then getting people to surrender early into the clan war. So that's the reason I wouldn't want to see that just because people might abuse it. Um, but yeah, overall, it would be nice. We've had plenty of wars where we've been stomping people, and it would be nice to go to the next one and sort of just get our victory bonus. And yeah, that's another thing. People could abuse the victory bonus, have people surrender one hour into the war, and just get that free bonus. So uh, I think it's something that could be abused, but overall, it's a cool feature that uh, I wish would be possible to be implemented into the game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like. And once again, answer the survey in the description below. It's literally just a one-question poll. You can click which series is your favorite. As well as make sure you drop a comment on the uh, in the comment section below for a question into the next video. And check out my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram uh, pages to drop your questions there as well. That's going to do it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.